What's good? It's your boy Damien here. Welcome to my channel where I talk about personal finance, self-improvement, and I was trying to be a well-rounded person like a sphere. Yeah, and today we're gonna to be talking about microwaves. And more specifically, the microwave mentality. But I'll explain. Okay, let's let's go into a little story here. So you wake up, go groggy, you might be hungover, but you know, we like to say sober. That I was kind of a bar. I don't know, but I mean might be hungover, you might just be all tired, groggy, whatever. You wake up, you go to the kitchen, grab a slice of pizza. You don't eat it cold because people who do that, they make me sad, <laughs> okay? Cold pizza is out the way, I don't care what anyone says. But you grab the pizza, put it in the microwave, warm it up for a minute, 30 seconds or whatever. And you're just like, you're sitting there, staring at the microwave. You know, you got the, the thing counting down, minute 30 seconds left. And you know, we just gotta wait this minute and a half and you get your reward. And then that's kind of like the mentality that a lot of people have with their goals, dreams, etc. That microwave mentality. You keeping up? Yeah. So if you didn't get what I was saying with that whole analogy story thing, what I'm saying is people with their goals and dreams, they want everything within a set amount of time. Usually that time frame is pretty short, even if their dream is very big. Like, I mean, with a minute 30 seconds with a pizza, you're not gonna take a minute 30 seconds cooking a steak. There's levels to this. And I know it's a lot easier said than done, you know, just waiting for your goals, you know, letting things realize themselves, you know, gonna dive into that Gary V fanboy space and be like, cause he always preaches patience, 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 patience and more patience. And like it's literally a saying that patience is a virtue, but we apply that to Basically everything else except for our goals, the things that require the utmost patience because you literally never know what's going to happen, but you got to be patient until it does happen. And then that's the thing that we usually don't see with so-called overnight, overnight successes is that, you know, the news would be like, oh, overnight you just blew up, made this video, like got thousands, millions of views, but we don't see all the years prior to that of, you know, making crazy videos that didn't land or I mean, didn't hit, I don't know. Or just think about the amount of artists that were grinding for years on years on years, then they just randomly blow up. Like, especially now with like TikTok, just randomly blow up because of TikTok, you're like, wow, this person is just an overnight success. And then if you look at their discography, or if you take a deep dive into their socials, they've been making music for years upon years upon years. Like even just within a city of Winnipeg, I know many artists that have been making music for time, I mean, they're getting more clout now, but obviously they're still not international or national level. But then when they do blow up, everyone's gonna be like, wow, he came out of nowhere. But then no, he's been in the basement for 10 years prior to that, making beats, making tunes and all that good stuff. It's like, if you were to see me now, you'd be like, oh, look at him. He's doing all this stuff, making all these moves, or he can edit like this and that. And you're like, oh yeah, overnight. <laughs> I feel like not a lot of people would say overnight success to something like that. But if you were to, you wouldn't have seen like all the hours spent doing this and that, the all nighters editing to perfect the craft, you know, and that still be happening. So it's nothing that's just randomly, that just occurs. So yeah, the microwave mentality of just like wanting everything that you want right away, just really ingrained in our society. And then we think that it's like that way for everyone else. I mean, it definitely isn't. And I guess Amazon doesn't really help with the whole two day shipping vibe. I mean, we still love Amazon, but we don't subscribe to that whole mentality over here. And then the worst part is that when everyone wants everything right away, they don't realize, like if you actually got the things you wanted when you wanted them, you probably mess it up. I'm not gonna lie. Like <laughs> usually when you get things, when you want them, you're not ready for what you're actually receiving. You don't understand the level of thing, or not the level, the weight of whatever you want. Like if I got my car when I wanted to, like a couple of years ago, like four, I don't know, three, four years ago, um, I would not be able to <laughs> pay for said car, you know? Cause like, even with the jobs that I had, you know how I worked all the time, it just, I would barely be paying for this car. Like I spend like a thousand dollars basically on my car per month and in other jobs, it's like, you'd be making just over a thousand dollars a month on the minimum wage. So it, the math wouldn't be mathing at that point. And then with moving out, cause I wanted, I didn't really want to, 
but I had the keeping up with the Joneses vibe when I was playing university football and then like all my teammates from like BC, Toronto, whatever, like they, they moved out of their play, our parents' houses, obviously, because you know, moving halfway across the country to play football. But you could see like the lifestyles that they're le le <laughs> leading. And you're just like, dang, I wish I could go crazy like that, but no, I'm still at my parents' house. But if I would have done that at that age, I feel like I'd be in a different place with a different mentality. I might have messed up a couple more times in life. Not saying that they did, but I'm just saying there's a chance that if I got what I got at that moment, I would have messed it up. And the final personal example is like with my videography, photography, all that jazz business. If I really blew up, like, I don't want to mention the viral video again, but if we got that viral video, that might get posted to ESPN soon. So, I mean, keep an eye out, that'd be crazy. Uh, if we got that video like two years ago, when I really started going hard into my editing, videography and all that stuff, my ego, <laughs> You think it's big now? <laughs> My ego would be absolutely massive and I would not have made the connections that have led me to this point where I could get said viral video naturally if I had done that way back then because I wouldn't have done all the free stuff that led me to getting these connections and networking and you know getting to where I am now because I'd, I'd be like well I have a video that's been posted to all these major platforms like I don't need you I don't need your little clout you're talking about oh I'll give you exposure <laughs> like no like I definitely would have egoed them because I was I was still working on myself at that point I mean I still am but obviously much further along now than I was then because I still have those moments where the ego is just unbearable <laughs> but yeah so that's why patience in every aspect of life you know it's just so key not to have that microwave mindset especially with your goals and literally apply it to anything with like relationships and stuff you don't want to be like yo i need these results right now you should like the process more than the result anyway because that's the whole point because if you get it then now you're sad but yes patience is a virtue patience 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 we love patience it's so hard to do and stuff that we're still working on but it is key to your development in life and to achieve any type of success because again if you got it when you wanted it you probably mess up like et says or said it takes 21 years to be 21 years old. You can't do it in 18 or 19 years. It takes 21 years to be 20 years old, 21 years old. So it takes the amount of time that it takes for you to reach your goals, okay? You don't rush the process, trust the process. Wow, I'm just, just a motivational speaker right now. <laughs> but that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe if you did, you could like, comment, and subscribe if you really loved it. But until the next one, we're signing out.